Back now at 747 with Michael Jackson's kids breaking their silence for the first time about their new school and, of course, memories of their father. NBC's Jeff Rawson's in Los Angeles. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, Matt, good morning to you. Watching this, what strikes you most is just how normal they are, considering who they are, of course. Regular kids who are making fun of each other and joking around. Two of them now go to school right in this area and talk openly about making new friends, their dreams, and what they miss most about their dad. Michael Jackson. Nice Prince, Prince, Prince Michael, hi. The Jackson kids as we've never seen them before. Paris, Prince. Hey, Blanket, hi. hi. And Blanket, relaxed and candid, speaking with Oprah. I kind of felt like no one understand what a good father he was. Mm -hmm. Like, he was like, I'd say he was the best cook ever. He was just a normal dad, except for he was, I'd say, the best dad ever. We used to wake up early and walk the beach. More than a year after Michael's sudden death, they seem to be adjusting rather well, living with their grandmother, Catherine, surrounded by their cousins, going to the movies this past weekend, taking vacations together, and trips to the amusement park. A far cry from life with Michael, the kids shielded from the public. Remember the infamous masks? Now Prince and Paris go to class out in the open with other kids at the Buckley School in L.A. I guess I was just nervous. About? Everything. They yeah, just no, said, December. who's new, raise your hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then a lot of kids raised their hands. And then you feel better. Didn't you feel better? Yeah. Yeah? Do kids react to who you are? My friend, uh, she didn't know, uh, she didn't know who I was until we went on Outdoor Ed. And then what happens? What happens when people discover really who you are? She didn't care. Then there's eight-year-old Blanket. So, Blanket, are you still homeschooled? Yes. He's still shy, but his older brother and sister were more than happy to talk about their hobbies and their futures. Video games and sports. Video games and sports. Yeah. yeah. Tell her what you want to do when you grow up. What do you want to do? Produce movies and direct. I'd like to be an actress when I'm older. Really? Good. Are you going to, like, study it, take it seriously? Yeah. I um, sometimes do improvs. Oh, do you? Where? Well, I used to do it with my dad. Away from the kids, the conversation also touched on the day Michael died. The worst day of my life. And reached back into Michael's troubled childhood, including accusations of physical abuse at the hands of his father, Joe. You might as well admit it. Yeah. That's the way black people raise their children. He yes. used a strap. He used the yes, strap. Yes, he did yeah. use the strap. I would have punished him by whipping him with a strap or something when they did something wrong. It would have kept him out of trouble. Katherine Jackson was also asked in that interview, do you think Michael was murdered by Dr. Conrad Murray? She said, quote, I can't accuse him of murder, but she is still not sure, Matt, whether Michael's death was actually accidental or intentional. We should also mention Dr. Murray is charged with involuntary manslaughter, and he has pled not guilty. All right, Jeff Rawson out in Los Angeles for us this morning. Jeff, as always, thanks very much.